All right, Todd's back. Friday's here, and man, it has been a struggle this week. It just has. I mean, it's it's, it's a lot for everybody to just kind of constantly keep going through. My so. my son had a uh, a soccer game yesterday on turf. Yeah. It was like 112 yeah. measured on the turf. The temperature. Built it was, in. It was built crazy. in drink breaks during the game. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, every I think it was every. 15 minutes they yeah. did that and and they had a lot of, of the you know those pop-ups yeah. the pop-up tents pop-up covers there so they could get under there for shade and all that it was it was tough and, and being in the stands like sitting on the aluminum um everybody was just like dripping i mean there wasn't like a dry shirt it was you like a place in the press box where you could hide. well i did for the night game oh. <laughs> well that's because i had to announce starting lineups so that's the only reason why I ended up in the press box. Okay, I would have loved to. I, I, if, if I had access to it on a regular, I would have been in there at 3.30 for the freshman game. But I wasn't. I was drenched with everybody else in that baking sun. 90 degree club, Rochester, New Hampshire, Freiburg, Sanford, Berlin, and Augusta. So a couple of more on the list yesterday. And we officially have a heat wave in Berlin, New Hampshire, Freiburg, and Rochester. That's three days of 90 in a row. Hasn't really happened anywhere else. A couple here, a couple there, but not three in a row. Actually, I have some powerful storms migrating through eastern Maine and crossing the St. Croix River right now. This is a nasty cluster. A lot of lightning in there. Torrential rain, too. I would suspect that there's going to be some large puddles still out there if you hit the road in Washington County, so be careful. There'll be some hydroplaning issues. A touch of fog in spots also this morning, like in Rockland, three quarters of a mile visibility. Just like every other morning, our temperatures are starting high right around 70 and we'll pump that heat in here again today. One last day because then this front kind of sits on top of us for the weekend. That's more cloud cover. That's more showers, more thunderstorms and temperatures that'll be a little lower. It'll still be very humid for a while, uh, but we'll ease that as well early next week. Another warm and very stuffy start. We have some fog. We have some haze out there. Midday triple H's hazy, hot and humid as our temperatures rise through the 80s and then during the late afternoon and evening hours, while it'll feel like 90 again out there, there will be some relief in drenching thunderstorms. These storms could also produce some gusty winds and there will also be a breeze again coming off the water out of the south. It's a muggy breeze, but at least the air will be moving. Those thunderstorms could be ongoing through sunset and just after them as well. We'll still reach the mid and upper 80s, maybe 90, but most likely that's over New Hampshire. I even kept Freiburg below 90 today. Portland 84, upper 70s for Rockland and Bar Harbor. Over the weekend, with this front basically on top of us, there will be some drenching showers and storms, but the mid-summer feel is going to ease this weekend. I think most of the rain will be Sunday afternoon through Monday. That's as this week low goes through. But it's just going to fizzle out there. We're not getting a clean sweep in refreshing Canadian air. Look at this, folks. Hurricane Lee yesterday at this time was a Category 1. Well, it's now a Category 5 with winds of 165 miles per hour. Official track from the Hurricane Center keeps it north of all the islands and basically keeps the intensity going all the way into the middle of next week, a category four, five kind of fluctuating between the two. The big question is where does it go after that? It does begin to move north. The consensus is that it keeps it east of us, but as you can see, it's going to be a close call and we'll have to keep a very close eye on this all of next week. If it were to get up to our latitude uh, or uh, and in our area, it would be the end of next week, like Friday, Saturday. So we still have plenty of time to watch it. There's the marine forecast, one to three footers, south wind 10 to 15 knots. Triple H is today with a chance for an afternoon storm, 80s, but feeling hotter than that. Fog burns off to sunshine tomorrow, and again, some thunderstorms around in the afternoon, low 80s. And then it's upper 70s on Sunday, numerous showers and storms, showers and downpours on Monday. Tuesday, the humidity eases, the heat's back, gone too. We're down around 70 degrees for the end of the week. And we'll keep an eye on the hurricane at that point. Rain does look likely, even if the hurricane doesn't get to us on Thursday. All right, lots to keep our eyes yeah. on. Thanks, sir. Appreciate that.